Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa and today I have a video to go over or kind of show you what I have pulled for Baby Gut Scraps, which is a series that is starting in January. So I did a little prep work um, for the series and pulled about five page kits together. So I thought I would go ahead and do a video and just show you what I pulled. Um, so my goal is to try to get these five layouts done with uh, the scraps that I've pulled, or I should say at least these five done. Um, the whole um, goal is to use your scraps. So the rules, there's only really one rule I think that everybody kind of follows is you're only supposed to have one piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper. So I am going to have that, but I am slightly cheating in that I am going to add a piece of solid colored cardstock that I will frame my layouts with, but that is just because that's what I always do. Um, and I'm not using that 12 by 12 cardstock for anything other than just framing my layout. So I kind of don't count it. So I'm going to show you everything that I pulled and the scraps and uh, embellishments that I pulled for each kit and yeah that is the plan for this so the first one let me move all the embellishments first so like I said this is obviously using scraps so my 12 by 12 is gonna be this and all of my 12 by 12s are actually from um, it was like a Vic, Vicki Booten mixed media um, 12 by 12 pad of paper so I pulled this one for my background and then oh, I moved, put everything on top here. We go. So this one definitely has um, all Vicky Booten mostly. I have just some wood grain um, and then I have, like I said, scraps from several, I think, Vicky Booten collections. This one is not, uh, no, that is a Vicky Booten collection. They're all probably from different collections. Um, but I have that. I also have some packaging from her stencils. Um, and so I pulled that. I plan to fussy cut these butterflies. And then I have this larger scrap of this polka dot. So those are everything that I pulled paper-wise for this first kit. Embellishments, I have some wood veneer and some acrylic. I have some die cuts. Um, ephemera type pieces from one of Vicky's collections. I have no idea which one, so I have that. I have some star rhinestones for a little bling. I have these navy alphas. I think the only thing I will need to probably add is a different alpha, um, but I have this to start out with. And then I have this Vicky Booten sticker sheet, which is from I think this is actually from her first collection. So I have that. So that we are calling page kit number one. And then put this off to the side. All right, page kit number two. I have this as my background. And hopefully everything is in frame. I have a new setup. Um, with some new lighting after Christmas and so I'm still playing with where everything needs to kind of land so hopefully I'm getting some weird shadows so hopefully I will fix this over the next little bit um, but this is the background pattern paper and then I have a whole bunch of scraps some wood grain some different pinks these ones I believe are like that's a crepe paper that wouldn't be a my, my mind's eye um, and then some other scraps in, these are uh, Paige Evans, that's an October afternoon, I believe. So lots of different manufacturers just was going actually by the colors that were in this paper and this paper. So both of these I plan to fussy cut. So that was one of the things that I decided with my page kits was when I was going through my scraps, I wanted to find scraps that were multicolored and had something in it that I could fussy cut. So it was like butterflies with the Vicky Booten. This one, it's a camera and the florals. 
So I'll be able to use those to die cut. I pulled in some sequins and then I have some little word stickers. I have a pink alpha and then this October afternoon alpha and a green alpha. So plenty of alpha op options in this kit. Um, I'm not sure what I will be titling it yet. So I have those pulled and then I have this sticker sheet, which is a um, the one that matches this collection. This is Dear Lizzie. I don't know what the collection was called. Um, and then I have, oh, that's a branding strip. And then I have this Maggie Holmes um, sticker sheet. I'm not using that one, but this one here, the colors um, definitely worked with this. So page kit number two. Page kit number three is this mixed media type background and with it I grabbed this pattern paper so again I could fussy cut those florals and then I have some yellows and I like this multicolored stripe to add a little bit of interest and then I have some pinks and some neutrals in the cork to pull in more of that cork, I did pull this alpha, and I'll probably need more alphas also for this kit, but I'm starting here. I have what is left on this sticker sheet. I know this is a crepe paper, and then this one is crepe paper and some pink fresh. I think stickers are kind of stuck on this um, little combo sheet, um, and so hopefully I'll get some of that used up. So I pulled that. Um, Embellishment wise, I might pull other things in, but I'm starting with this. So page kit number three. Page kit number four, I have this uh, mixed media background. And then I'm starting with this, cause like I said, I'm gonna fussy cut some of those apples. So this I think will definitely have a school vibe. Um, photo and then I have this piece of pattern paper which is a watercolory blue and then that floral on the back I have an orange and then I pulled in some yellow that matched the background another scrap and then I have no idea who, who those are from but pulled in some pink so again just pulling from the colors from the pattern paper that I chose initially alphas I have this gold set of alphas I have this uh, mini market oh, oh I also have some scraps of wood grain as well I have some enamel dots and some epoxy I don't know that I'll use the epoxy but these two enamel dot colors work with my colors and then I have some other enamel dots and a sticker sheet from Jen Hatfield reaching out um, and so that is page kit. I guess that's number four. Last page kit is this one here. And for this one, I have my background, which is this here with the mixed media. I pulled this as my jumping off point, which is this really cute basic gray um, skate shop Ollie was I think this collection I believe um, and I plan to fussy cut these little frogs because they are adorable so this is definitely going to be a picture of my son um, and then for it I pulled all of these scraps so it went into the greens and then the greeny yellows and then there's all my greens and then for the blues I pulled in some darker and some lighter blues and some wood grain with that, I have some enamel dots. I also have some puffy hearts. And then, oops, more other colors, some blue puffy hearts. I have this set of stickers that are kind of on this backer sheet. Not this side, but these definitely the colors went. So we'll see if I can get something used up. I also pulled this sticker sheet, which is almost gone thought I might be able to get something off here, even just the letter stickers if I wanted to use those. Other letter sticker options, I have this green, this navy, this green, a wood grain, a navy, 
and then two other sort of navy fonts. There's nothing really left in this, so I'll probably be, probably be throwing this one away. And then I have this set of little words. Not sure any of these will actually apply to this layout. And lastly, I have a word stickers um, set from Woodland Park from October afternoon. So definitely old stickers coming out for this one. Um, and that is page kit number five. So I will be picking photos and putting the photos with these. And this is what I plan to at least get through this for next month. And I'm thinking, we'll see. Some of the fussy cut pages might go back in my stash, but all the other scraps, I figure if I don't use them, they're probably going to get thrown in the trash because they've been in my scrap pile for a long time. So I will um, have, if there is a uh, group list of everyone who's playing along, I'll try to have that in the description box below. I may not have it for this video, but for ones I post for creating the layouts, I will. Um, and so with that, keep an eye out for Baby Gut Scraps for the month of January, and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.